Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss an important type of indefinite integration uh, in which uh, the form is of this type that is we have a quadratic function in the uh, numerator and uh, another quadratic function in the denominator under the square root sign right so here we have q1 as the first quadratic function and uh, q2 is the uh, second quadratic function right so here i uh, will see how we can integrate uh, these type of uh, integrands where we have uh, q1 divided by square root of q2 where q1 is the a quadratic function of the type ax square plus bx plus c and q2 uh, is another quadratic function of this type say px square plus qx plus uh, r right so we'll see how we can express this function that is q1 over square root of q2 uh, to get the indefinite integration of uh, this function so let us start so the method uh, to integrate these type of functions is that we express this uh, q1 uh, as uh, a times uh, q2 and then we have here a b times the derivative of uh, q2 and plus e right so if we take q1 as uh, ax square plus bx plus c then ax square plus bx plus c can be written as a times uh, here q2 is uh, px square plus qx plus r then we have here b times the derivative of uh, q2 q2 is px square plus qx plus r and then we have this term e right where a b and E are the constants uh, which are to be uh, calculated right so a b c uh, e are the constants right so we'll express q1 uh, like this right so now uh, we can compare uh, this integrand with uh, this one so q1 is our uh, quadratic uh, polynomial that is x square plus x plus 1 and q2 is given by uh, x square minus 1. So now uh, let us write q1 as x square plus x plus 1 and here we have uh, the constant a times q2, q2 is x square minus 1 then we have uh, b and the derivative of uh, q2 q2 is x square minus 1 and then we have here the constant e right so let us uh, simplify this expression so we have a times x square minus 1 here we have b times the derivative of x square minus 1 is simply 2x and here we have e so now uh, let us uh, uh, rearrange the terms here so we have ax square minus a uh, plus 2bx and here we have e right so we have ax square then we have 2bx and then uh, we can uh, collect these two terms so we have e minus a right okay so now we have uh, the uh, left hand side is x square plus x plus 1 here the coefficient of x square is 1 here the coefficient of x is 1 so comparing both the sides uh, the value of a is equal to uh, 1 right and the value of uh, the coefficient of x is 2b and here the coefficient of x is 1 so we have 2b is equal to 1 so b is equal to half right and the constant term that is e minus a is equal to 1 now taking a is equal to 1 in this equation we have e minus 1 is equal to 1 so e is 1 plus 1 that is 2 right so finally uh, we have 
obtained the value of a as 1 the value of b as half and the value of e as 2 right so now let us substitute uh, these values in this expression so now x square plus x plus 1 uh, may be written as uh, a is 1 so here we have 1 x square minus 1 then we have b b is a half and here we have 2x and e is a 2 right okay so now we have x square plus x plus 1 is equal to this expression so let us call this integral as i so now we can write i is equal to uh, the integral uh, for x square plus x plus 1 uh, we can write 1 here we have x square minus 1 half 2x and then we have 2 divided by square root of x square minus 1 and here we have dx right so now let us uh, write this integral as a sum of three integrals so we have i is equal to integral uh, x square minus 1 over square root of x square minus 1 then we have half and 2x over square root of x square minus 1 dx and then uh, here we have uh, 2 times uh, the integral dx over square root of x square minus 1 right and uh, obviously we have c as the constant of integration so now let us uh, calculate the values of these three integrals so let us call it i1 this is i2 and this is i3 right so i1 is uh, integral x square minus 1 over square root of x square minus 1 dx here we have dx so now we can uh, write this integrand as x square minus 1 raised to 1 minus half and dx because here square root of x square minus 1 can be written as x square minus 1 uh, raised to a half right so subtracting uh, these two numbers we have integral x square minus 1 raised to half dx which can also be written as square root of x square minus 1 dx so now this integral is of the form square root x square minus 1 square dx and here uh, we can apply a standard result and the result goes like this that is uh, uh, integral of uh, uh, square root of x square minus a square dx is equal to uh, x over 2 square root of x square minus a square then we have minus a square by 2 and here we have a term containing the uh, natural log so here we have x plus square root of uh, x square minus a square right so if we compare this uh, term with this one then the value of a is equal to 1 so here uh, the value of this integral is now x over 2 square root of x square minus 1 square 1 square is 1 1 square is 1 so we have half and here we have log of uh, x plus uh, square root of x square minus 1 right so i1 is given by uh, this expression so now consider this integral i2 so i2 is a half and here we have 2x over square root of x square minus 1 dx now we can solve this integral by method of uh, uh, substitution so we can take t is equal to uh, x square minus 1 so dt is equal to 2x dx and now we can write half and here uh, for 2x dx we can write dt and here we have a square root of uh, t so this is half and we can take a square root of t to the uh, numerator so we have t raised to minus half dt so this is half and we can write it uh, 
the integral minus half plus 1 over minus half plus 1. So this is half and this is uh, 1 minus half is half. So this is square root of t and here we have half. So half and half get cancelled. So we are left with square root of t that is square root of uh, x square minus 1. Right. So the value of this integral i2 is given by square root of x square minus 1. So now consider this integral uh, i3. So here we have 2 times then we have uh, dx over square root of x square minus 1 which can be written as square root of x square minus 1 square. Right. So to uh, write the integral of uh, this uh, expression, uh, we'll again use a standard result. So we have this uh, important result that is integral uh, dx over square root of x square minus a square is given by uh, the natural log of uh, x plus square root of x square minus uh, a square right so we'll apply uh, this result to uh, this one so we have 2 and then uh, we have log of uh, x plus square root of x square minus uh, a square our a is 1 so 1 square is simply 1 right so the value of i3 is given by this expression so viewers, this is how we can find out the values of i1, i2, i3. So now to get the value of this integral, we can uh, add all these three integrals. That is i2 plus i1 plus i2 plus i3. So i1 is uh, x over 2 square root of x square minus 1 minus half log of x plus square root of x square minus 1. Then we have uh, i2, i2 is the square root of x square minus 1 and then i3, i3 is 2 times log of x plus uh, square root of x square minus 1, right? So now see here uh, we have these two uh, like terms so we can take square root of x square minus 1 common so we have x over 2 plus 1 and then uh, here we have uh, again two like terms so this is uh, a 2 minus half and we have log of uh, x plus square root of x square minus 1 and uh, obviously here we have the constant of integration right so now we can uh, rewrite this integral i as the square root of x square minus 1 x over 2 plus 1 and here we have uh, 4 minus 1 that is 3 so this is 3 by 2 log and here we have x plus uh, square root of x square minus 1 plus c right so this is the required expression for the uh, indefinite integral of uh, this uh, function right so this is how uh, we can uh, find out the indefinite integration of the functions of this form or the integrands of this form q1 over square root of q2. Hello viewers, in today's session we are going to discuss another important form of uh, indefinite integration in which the integrand is of the form uh, that is uh, quadratic over uh, quadratic, right? So in this lecture, uh, we are going to uh, integrate this function in which the integrand is, uh, it consists of a quotient in which the numerator is a quadratic function and the denominator is also a quadratic function. So here uh, Q1 is of the form that is ax square plus bx plus c and q2 is of the form uh, say px square plus qx plus r right so here uh, the integrand is having a quadratic polynomial in the 
numerator and uh, another quadratic polynomial in the denominator right so here we'll see the technique how to integrate uh, the, the functions like uh, q1 over q2 so what we will do uh, we'll express q1 as a times q2 plus b times the derivative of uh, q2 and then uh, we have another constant here say e right so we'll express this quadratic function q1 uh, which uh, which is present in the numerator as a times q2 plus b times the derivative of q2 plus e where a b and e are the constants so q1 is ax square plus bx plus c and we have a times q2 q2 is px square plus qx plus r then we have uh, b times the derivative of px square plus qx plus r and then we have another constant e right okay so here our uh, q1 is x square plus x plus 1 and q2 is x square minus x plus 1 right so let us use this expression so q1 is x square plus x plus 1 and then we have the constant a times the uh, polynomial uh, the quadratic polynomial q2 q2 is x square minus x plus 1 then we have the constant b the derivative of q2 q2 is x square minus x plus 1 and then we have the constant e right okay so now we can write here ax square minus ax plus a and then we have b times the derivative of x square minus x plus 1 which is 2x minus 1 right and here we have e so let us uh, recollect the terms that is the like terms so here we have uh, only ax square and here we have x here also we have x so we can write minus a plus 2b and here we have x and here we have the constant term uh, a and here we have minus b and then we have here e right so in the right hand side uh, we have another quadratic polynomial uh, where we have the coefficient of x square as a the coefficient of x as minus a plus 2b and the constant term is uh, a minus b plus e right okay so now let us uh, compare uh, both the sides the coefficients of x square x and the constant term right so here the coefficient of uh, x square is 1 so we have a is equal to 1 and here the coefficient of x is 1 so we have the equation minus a plus 2b is equal to 1 and the constant term is a minus b plus e which is equal to 1 right so now we have uh, three uh, equations and uh, three variables so here a is 1 uh, taking a is equal to 1 in this equation we have minus 1 plus 2b is equal to 1 so 2b is 1 plus 1 2b is 2 so b is uh, 2 over 2 that is 1 right so the value of b is 1 and uh, now taking the values of a and b in the third equation we have 1 uh, minus 1 plus e is equal to 1 so this is 0 so we have e is equal to 1 right so we have obtained the values of a b and e as uh, 1 here we have 1 and here we have 1 So now taking these values of a b and e in this equation uh, where we have a times x square minus x plus 1 plus b and the derivative of this term is 2x minus 1 plus e right 
So we have one, then we have x square minus x plus one. Here also we have one, that is two x minus one. And here we have one, right? Okay, so now we can write it as simply x square minus x plus one. And then the second term is simply two x minus one. And the third one is one. So now let us take this integral as i, right? So i can be written as uh, this polynomial that is x square plus x plus 1 uh, may be replaced by this expression, right? So we have x square minus x plus 1. Then we have here 2x minus 1. And then we have 1 divided by x square minus x plus 1. And here we have dx. So now we have expressed this numerator like this. So we can now express this integral as a sum of three integrals by splitting this integral at this point and at this point, right? So we have integral x square minus x plus 1 over x square minus x plus 1 dx and here we have 2x minus 1 over x square minus x plus 1 dx and here we have integral uh, dx over x square minus x plus 1 and obviously the constant of integration. So now here we have three integrals i1, i2 and i3, right? So the value of i1 is given by simply dx because see here this term and this term get cancelled because both the terms are identical and the integral uh, we have 1 dx that is simply equal to x right. Now let us consider i2. So i2 is integral 2x minus 1 over x square minus x plus 1 dx. So we can solve it by method of uh, substitution because the derivative of the uh, denominator it occurs in the numerator. So we have t is equal to x square minus x plus 1. So dt is uh, 2x minus 1 dx, right? So we have here uh, 2x minus 1 dx is equal to dt and here we have t. This is a log of t, right? So here we are using the notation uh, log log for the natural log that is ln, right? So we have log of uh, that is x square taking t is equal to x square minus x plus 1, right? So we have i1 and i2. So now consider the third integral that is i3. So i3 is dx over uh, x square minus x plus 1 and uh, this integral is of this form that is uh, dx over ax square plus bx plus c and uh, to solve these type of uh, integrals what we do uh, we uh, convert this quadratic expression into a perfect square. So we can write x square minus x plus 1 as x minus half square and then here we'll write a minus 1 over 4 and then we have this term that is plus 1. So we have expressed this term like this because when we expand x minus half square uh, we'll get this term because uh, here we have say a square then we have b square then we have 2ab uh, 2ab is 2 times x times half and here we have minus 1 by 4 then we have 1 so 2 and 2 get cancelled 1 by 4 1 by 4 get cancelled so we are left with x square minus x uh, plus 1, right? So x square minus x plus 1 can be written as x minus half square. And here we have minus uh, 1 by 4 plus 1 that is equal to uh, 3 by 4, right? 
So this can also be written as x minus half square and here we have root 3 over 2 uh, square, right? So now we have integral dx over uh, x minus half square and then we have square root of 3 over 2 square. So now to solve this uh, integral, uh, we can again make use of the method of substitution. So let us take t is equal to x minus half, right? So dt over dx is equal to 1 because the derivative of x with respect to x is 1. So we have uh, dt is equal to dx, right? So now this integral becomes dt. For dx we have dt and x minus half square can be written as t square and here we have a square root of 3 over 2 uh, square. So now this is a standard integral because we know that the integral dx over say x square uh, plus a square is equal to 1 over a tan inverse x over a. Right? So here the variable is t. So we have 1 over a. a is square root of 3 over 2. So here we have square root of 3 over 2 uh, tan inverse uh, x. For x we can write t and here we have root 3 over 2. So this is 2 over square root of 3 taking the reciprocal and then we have uh, here 2 over square root of 3. And for t, uh, we can write uh, x minus half. So the value of uh, this integral i3 is given by uh, 2 over square root of 3. Uh, then we have tan inverse. And if we multiply uh, these two uh, numbers by 2, so we have 2x. And then uh, here we have simply 1 and in the denominator we have square root of 3 right so this is how we can solve these three integrals and now our final integral i can be written as the sum of three integrals right i1 i2 and i3 so i1 is and obviously the constant of integration c so i1 is simply x i2 is a log of x square minus x plus 1 and i3 is 2 over square root of 3 tan inverse and 2x minus 1 over square root of uh, 3 plus c right so this is the uh, required uh, expression for uh, this indefinite integral